I learned to hate it. Thank you to the singing news for that. Also, there was a song that you've already heard about, but there was a song that Kelly, Dad brought to Kelly, and she didn't want to sing it. She didn't like the demo. She literally cried, Dad, don't make me record it. Dad said, trust me. That song was the sun's coming up in the morning. She never questioned him again. But I tell you, Kelly, when I think of Kelly, I think of one word, love. She loved each and every one of you and each and every one of you dearly. She loved coming to NQC. She loved seeing and talking to each one of you. One of the greatest things I heard was someone sent me a message and said, when I came to hear the Neelands, Kelly made me feel like family. And that was Kelly. And she did love her family. She loved her girl. And let me just tell you, what a singer. All of you. Yeah. I can, I can stand here and tell you, the legacy of the Neelands is as strong as ever. Amen. And that's all thanks to you. And I love you, and I'm so proud of you. But she loved everybody. She loved our family. She treated my kids like they were her own. But how would you go about thanking everybody? Because one thing that people that have ever traveled with the Neelands know, once a Neeland, always a Neeland. Because we are family. Whether you're the singer, bus driver, band, record producer, musician, it doesn't matter. We're family. And I, I look at the groups he saw with what Dad's thought was when he had Janet, Rodney, Kelly, and himself. And then that next level, you brought in Jerry. You brought in Karen. I mean, my goodness, Karen and Kelly, they were like sisters. They were, they just loved each other, you could tell. Now to me, Karen was mean as a snake. <laughs> That's a story for another day. I forgive you. But if, while I was there, Dad was our legend, and Kelly was our centerpiece. And when Dad retired, Kelly took over the mantle of legend. And Dad, she did you proud. The song, if you think about all the songs that, that the Neelan sang through the years, sons come up, come on in more than conquerors and over a thousand tons to sing. They're living those songs at this very moment. Wow, in the presence of God, they're singing over a thousand tons to sing. Kelly now is in the ultimate Hall of Fame. Yeah. If I could leave one thing, one thing with you, it's the very last song she ever sang, she ever recorded on this brand new album. It's not an album anymore, it's a project. I'm sorry, I'm old. <laughs> with all the struggles, and she had struggles, she had good times, we all have struggles, we all have hard times. Through the hard times, she had, she sang. In the good times, she sang. And at the very last, we always know we've always had a song. Kelly, I hope you did be proud. Amen. Thank you. into the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame.